Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Now, President of the Jamaica Table Tennis Association, Angelou, says he's open to returning to the post for a second term should the delegates find it fit. TVJ Sports understands that some delegates are uneasy as there has been no annual general meeting or publishing of financial statements since he took the reins from the late Godfrey Lothian in 2021. But despite the concerns, Lou says he has the full backing of the delegates. We will see what happens um, <laughs> next year. <laughs> I will not rule out the possibility of me serving a second term at this time. I have the desire to do what I can do and what I need to do to have the sport of the of table tennis to develop to its true potential. I think we, we have a good crop of players that deserve the best administration possible for them. The JTT elections are due in February of 2023. Australia have released a collective statement against Qatar's human rights record, becoming the first 2022 World Cup team to do so. The video message criticizes the World Cup hosts' treatment of migrant workers and LGBTQ plus people. Football Australia also released a statement saying the suffering felt by workers and their families caused by the tournament cannot be ignored. Australia will play at the tournament in Qatar, which starts on November 20. In cricket, Virat Kohli scored his second successive half century as India made it two wins in two at the ICC T20 World Cup in Australia after beating the Netherlands by 56 runs in Sydney. Kohli followed his 82 not out against Pakistan with an unbeaten 62 as India posted 179 for two batting first. Rohit Sharma 53 and Surya Kumar Yadav 51 also got half centuries as Fred Klaassen and Paul Van Merkeren had a, a wicket each. In reply, the Netherlands were restricted to 123 for 9. Tim Pringle top scored with 20 as Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, Ashdeep Singh, Aksar Patel and Ravi Ashwin all had a wicket. Meanwhile, South Africa had their first win of the campaign following a 104-run victory over Bangladesh. Riley Rousseau scored the first century of the World Cup as he posted 109 of 56 balls. Quinta de Kock was next best with 63 as Shakib al Hassan took 2 for 33. In their run chase, Bangladesh were bowled out for 101 in 16.3 overs with Litan Das top scoring with 34. Anrit Nakir bagged 4 for 10 while Tabriz Shamsi had a 3 for 20. And Zimbabwe pulled off a remarkable one-run win over Pakistan to leave last year's semi-finalists in a dangerous position as they look to make the last fourth T20 World Cup. Batting first, Zimbabwe posted a below par 130 for 8 with Sean Williams 31 and Craig Irvine 19 the top scorers. Mohamed Wazim bagged 4 for 24 while Shadab Khan picked up 3 for 23. In their run chase, Pakistan lost their first three wickets for 36 runs before needing 11 runs on the final over. Despite conceding seven from the first two deliveries, Brad Evans and Zimbabwe held their nerve to restrict Pakistan to two runs and two wickets from the last four deliveries. Pakistan's innings came to a close at 129 for eight. Shan Masood top scored with 44 as Sikandar Raza bagged three for 25 to go with 2 for 25 from Evans. Pakistan are without a point from two games, while Zimbabwe are on three after their opening game against South Africa ended in a no result. And that's it for your midday sports report, Javon. It's back to you.